For number four, you really just need to understand that this story is a line. And that can make things a lot easier because then you can just kind of get back to basics and create a linear equation that describes the situation. So a website hosting service charges businesses a one-time setup fee of $350. So if we're thinking in terms of Y equals MX plus B, the 350 is the B, the starting point. You can't have less than that if you're going to use this website hosting service. So that's your Y intercept and your starting point. Then it's D dollars for each month. And this is where things get a little confusing D dollars is the rate. So that's kind of like the slope, but we don't know it. We're going to be asked to find it. But the X is the number of months, M. And we could just leave it as Y or the cost, whatever you want to say there. But we also have other numbers that we can fill in from this question because they tell us that what the person paid is $1,010. So that would be your result, your Y. We still don't know the slope, but we do know that there are 12 months for this contract. So now it's just a matter of solving for D. So you just kind of do normal algebra here. So subtract 350 from both sides, and you get 660 equals D times 12. Divide by 12, and you're going to get that D is equal to 55. Choice D. But you could do this question without ever even thinking about lines. You could just kind of reason through the process and solve using arithmetic, right? Okay, I know that the total was $1,010. I got to subtract out that fee and then divide the rest by 12, and that's going to be my, my rate. Like, you could do that without ever thinking of lines, but notice that what arithmetic I just did is the same arithmetic that we did solving the linear equation, right? We subtracted 350, step one, step one, and then we divided by 12, step two, step two. Doesn't matter. But I just wanted to talk about it in terms of lines because lines are a big part of the SAT and similar stories to this are going to come up later. So it's helpful to see the parallels between these questions so you can recognize the patterns that unify a bunch of questions on the SAT.